All right, y'all, and we back with it. I appreciate y'all. God is good. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added to you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added to you. All right, now look, and we back with another round of thoughts. Understand, right? So, all right, I, I had a situation today, right? I wouldn't say I had a situation, but, you know, let's just say, you know, uh, I was enlightened on something, right? And it, and it, and it just, I was just like, when it, when, it, when, it, when it was brought to me, I was just like, bam, video. We got content. That's <laughs> I just say. We got content. We got content. We got content. All right, now look. Right, so I'm, I'm working. Right, so I'm going through, going through, through my houses, doing the inspections and things like that, right? My, da my daily duties. Oh, I'm at the job. So, you know, as I'm uh, going through and checking the imperfections and things like that, right? So, a couple of old school dudes, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like in their 50s, almost 60s, right? So, they like, uh, they come in and they were doing, I think they were doing some, um, some plumbing, some plumbing work, right? So, while they were doing what they were doing, I'm doing what I'm doing, but then I end up walking by one of the men. Um, cause both of them kept asking me, is I'm from Georgia? And I'm like, nah, I'm from Florida. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I'm from Florida. And I let them know where I'm from and all that, right? So, it like, uh, they like, uh, yeah, man, such and such. Uh, such and such this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cause one dude telling me he was from Savannah, Georgia. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I done had my time up there and stuff like that. So, I would just let them know what the deal was, right? So, um, so a little time passed, so I ended up walking by him, right, when I came from a car. I ended up walking by him, and he, um, so I listened a little bit. I'm like, I'm like, what are you listening to? Because he had, he had it, but I couldn't really focus in a little bit what he was listening to. It sounded like something a little crazy at first, but then when I kind of got up on him, I'm like, I, I, I had my pastor. He listening to Pastor Geno Jennings, right? So I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, okay, no, that, oh, that's what y'all he like he like oh yeah man that's what I listen to I like yeah I know that's my pastor he like oh, okay I like yeah uh, Williams had no baptized me he was like okay that's what's up man woo -woo. so we went to chopping it up I went to give him some of the words and stuff like that right so we chopping up the word a little bit you know giving some uh, enlightenment on certain things you know so he like uh but then he go to speaking about his wife. Right, he goes speaking about his wife, and clearly this this was on his mind, and you could tell that he probably ain't been. He probably he probably talked to people about it, but you know, sometimes you you need that reassurance. You know, what I'm saying some people be looking for you know different opinions on, on on how they should make a move. Understand when you should have your own mind and pray about it. You gotta have your own mind and pray about it. Don't get me wrong, you can get you a couple of opinions here and there, but man, you gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta let that spirit move on you. This and these are the things that you have to pray for. You have to spend that time. That's why I say learn to build your spiritual stamina, so you have the will and the the, the focus and the mental clarity to actually pray and let God, you know, let God, um, you know, guide you, guide your footsteps, right? So he was like, um, like yeah, man, my wife, she's a so-called, she's a so-called Christian. You know, he kept saying, he kept doing like this, so-called Christian woo -woo, and how she be treating him. You know what I'm saying? She was, he was just explaining how, how she be treating him. Oh, she a Christian. She don't never cook for me. She don't do this. She don't do that. She, uh, she always talking to me crazy, this, this, and that. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Let me take this out, y'all. Mm. But in his, in my, in his head, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not thinking that. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he telling us this because it's the other dude that too. So I don't know if he had been talking to him because he was working with him. So I guess he probably was telling dude too, but it just seemed like he was coming off a little bit more when he was telling me. Right? So I'm like, all right. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm listening. But then I, I then he, he was like, oh, how, how his wife don't do this and do that, right? And, oh, I just think I need to be by myself. I'm finna give her what she want, this, this, and that. And he went to just tell me how he talked, how she talked to him and things like that. 
And I'm like, yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm on a, I'm on a journey right now. You know, as I'm practicing uh, celibacy. I like y'all know what sin retention is. And he was like, they like both of them like, no. Nah. They were like, they ain't know what it was. Understand? They almost sixty, but they didn't know what sin retention was. That's why I tell y'all, man. We 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 the one percent. I'm telling you, not gonna know a lot of guys that's that's actually know about sin retention. I'm trying to tell you, is is people that actually watch sin retention videos or run across sin retention, like. You have to be awakened to some point. Not to say you all the way woke, but you have to be awakened to some type of point. If you don't ran, if you actually looking up scene retention videos or scene retention videos run across your algorithm, understand? Right. So as he explained it to me, I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like that. I'm like, and that's the same thing. Pastor always say he get his soul. He get his, his biggest fight from the so called Christians. You see what I'm saying? But y'all have to understand that Christians is to be God like. Right? It's to be like God. In Antioch, that's what they were doing. Doing things as of Christ, but God told us to be holy. Leviticus 19.1. Understand? Right? So, so he, he like, he like, oh, 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 she do this, she do that, but I had to just gave him my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I like, if I can make, if I can give you a suggestion, you know, uh, I was like, really, OG, I, I just called him old school. Like, old school, man, you really was the one to accept that. You know what I'm saying? As I'm talking to him, right? Because at first, I'm like, when we we when we first going to the lust stage and dealing with a female, we be in that lust stage, right? And, the, and, the, and his partner was like, yeah, his partner like was all like with me. You feel me? Like he 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 was feeling what was coming out my mouth, right? Because I wasn't speaking nothing but truth, nothing but facts, right? And he was like, um, I was like, yeah, we be in the lust stage, but then you get to a point where things might get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing the same things you used to do when you first got with her. But then what he had said, what kind of blew me was, he was like, it wasn't like that in the beginning. So so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, well, was it all bad? You see what I'm saying? Was it was it bad from the beginning? Because the way he was talking, like, it 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 it, uh, it wasn't like that at first, but then it grew that. But then when he, but then when I had kind of picked his brain a little bit more, it seemed like it was like that from the beginning. So if it was like that from the beginning, then that means you you weren't standing on no business. That's all my mind was telling me. Just like he wasn't standing on no business, even when even before y'all got married. Why? If you knew she acted this certain way, why did you marry her? If you knew that she didn't respect you, why did you marry her? If you knew that she was she didn't do wife duties, why did you marry her? Let me tell you why. One could be he probably seen potential of things getting better, and, or he probably can change her because you got a lot of you got a lot of women feel like they can change men, so you got men out here believing they can change women. Okay, I get it. It go both ways, right? Or she was putting that good mouth and that cooter on him. And he was looking past all the red flags. It only beat him too. Cause he showed it, cause I kept telling him, a woman respects strength. OG, you supposed to bend walk the way. You let you 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 tell you she saying crazy things to you. You 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 thinking that you just holding back because you're not hearing her, but mentally, you you already know. The the you can penetrate the mind worse worse than then um, uh, 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 abuse can come from both ways, you physically and mentally. And nine times ten, mentally going, going, cause the mental, the mental is way worse when you kind of think about it, because you you carry that on. You will heal from your wounds from somebody being on you and doing. You will heal from that. You will heal from it. But in that, in, when it's when it's pressed in your mind, and that and that's stuff that you constantly think about. Come on, man. Understand, but I told him straight up. I say old school. You supposed to be there. You accepted a lot of the things that that she that she kept doing. You didn't show her no scrim. So that's why. And she and from what you telling me, she don't respect you. She don't respect you. Period. Because he kept saying he he leaned back to Kevin Sayers and what Kevin Sayers was saying. Yes, Kevin Sayers, Kevin Sayers said a lot of things that I agree with, but certain things you have to experience for yourself. Kevin can tell you what he want to tell you, but Kevin ain't telling you all the shit that he probably done went through when he wasn't a high value man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, understand. So, you know, he he, he kept speaking more. Uh, I want I want to be treated like the boss. I want to be treated how you treat your boss. I want to be treated how you do your pastor. She say he say he can get 
uh, she submitted to the pastor. That way he kept telling me, she say, say she's a church going woman, a, a faithful in the church, a faithful in the church. And she treat her husband like shit. Come on, man. But at the same time, you can't just blame it on her. You have to blame it on him because he wasn't being a man. He had to show her some type of weakness in order for her to treat him the way she would treat him. He had to show her some type, type of weakness and he didn't stand on business. What that is, quote unquote, stand on business. He wasn't standing on business. So that's the way, that's the way he getting treated, the way he getting treated. Understand? That's why I try to tell fellas, certain things, stop licking past the red flags. I don't care how good she, care how good her mouth feels. How good her coot is. You gotta, your respect comes first. And I, and I guarantee you that he didn't put his respect first when he was dealing with her. All he just said that he can withhold himself from, he, she might say something crazy, but he can, he can, he can hold himself from hitting her. But you're gonna have to do more than that, player. You have to do no, more than that, my guy. You got to show her strength. You got to show her that you had the strength to walk away. It's one thing her talking to you crazy in the early stage, but then you end up marrying her. But now y'all, you 50 some, she 60, you 50 some going on 60. She, she, she then uh, approaches 60 and you talking about divorcing. Oh, I think I need to just be by myself. I'm going to get her the divorce that she want. You know what I told him? I said, hey man, I'm, I'm not finna sit up here and tell you to divorce your wife. Because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in divorce. Being in the knowledge and knowing what I know, I don't believe in divorce. A lot of people, uh, 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 and I might get some, some guys in the comments, might say, hey, such and such, hey, li listen, when you in the knowledge and your understanding is open, that marriage and divorce is not what it is. If you married and your first husband or wife still living, and that's, that's about your first husband, not no second, your first husband or wife still living, and you divorce them and go get somebody else, that is an adultery marriage. She is an adultery. Come on, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. So I don't. I, I I I told him, hey man, I don't condone to tell you to get the divorce. I say if you feel if you feel like you can't really deal with her right now, separate. Sure that you leave. Take some time. And I said, pray for her. And you know what he told me. Man, I'm kind of listen, but but keep in mind, he the one that's listening to Pastor Gino Jennings. This is what he listening to as he do his work, right? But this is what he tell me. I say, man, pray for her, man. Ask God, you know, say ask God to, you know, turn return her to you, and you know, you know, uh, uh, convict her heart, convict her heart. You gotta pray. But you know what he told me, man. I pray for myself, man. I ain't praying for her. What's already done is already done. I'm like, what? In my head, I'm like, but but I let him say what he said, and then I'm like, man, OG, you still got, you you might not like the way things going, but still pray for her. Understand, if that's your wife and you love her, pray for her. You feel what I'm saying? But you don't let things, you don't let things slide so much, she ain't got no respect for you. She wondering when you gonna say something. She wondering when you gonna leave her. Understand, fellas, y'all don't realize that women test us like this. Women do these things just to see what our strength at, just to see what we gonna do. You have to show a woman that you got the strength to walk away. Remember I told you, in the end, they gonna do what's best for them. In the end, you have to do what's best for you. And if that means walking away, do what you gotta do. Cause she don't, you best believe, she gonna walk away. Understand, so you know I, I let it be what it is, but I but but we had a um the inspector guy. You got a, uh, another inspector guy that come in, right? So as um uh, uh, as we talking, the inspector guy, man, him real cool. So you know, inspector got a he got he married too, right? So inspector was giving um uh, giving the guy uh, uh um some um some knowledge and you know basically enlightenment on how his marriage is, cause you know a hey, uh, uh inspector guy, you know what I'm saying he say he good in his marriage, not to say that. They don't go through their, their problems and they don't have their situations. But like I told you, any long success, successful marriage, uh, 40, 30 years, 40 years, man, a lot of people say communication, but I always say understanding. That person has to understand you. And that's basically what uh, the uh, that's basically what the uh, inspector was telling him, man, you got to have your, your, your significant other got to understand you. Your significant other gotta know you, know how you is, and they choose to deal with that. But like I told him, 
the other dude, like, man, nah, man, you let too much, you let, you let too much slide, old school. Ain't no turning back now. You got to let the, so that's why I say you got to, you got to sit her down and talk to her. Like, let her know this what this is. I, I'm, I'm, like, just have that talk with her. Understand, man, but keep in mind, fella, like I always tell y'all, man, remember the respect. <laughs> you ain't gonna get no submissive if the respect not there. She don't respect him. By the stuff he was telling me, I'm telling you, man. I always get people to tell me their deep, darkest secrets. I'm telling you, the stuff he was telling me, she he, he, she lost respect for him. I'm telling y'all, she lost respect for him. And that's it. Ain't no coming back from it. She, pray about it. That's all I can tell her. Pray about it. If you want to separate, separate. But don't go out here trying to get married again. I'm telling you. So, with that being said, like I tell y'all, put your respect over that cooter. Understand? Right? And, um, I basically wanted to, like I say, I've been, um, it's been, it's been a long week. I ain't even gonna lie. Even though it came by fast, y'all, y'all know I go, y'all know uh, I do my Sabbath and things. Like, I give my Sabbath to the God, to the Lord, right? But I want to tell y'all, right? You know, um, I've been on a, um, a, a, a fruit, I've been on a fruit fast, right? For the past week now, and um, no meat, no dairy, none of that. I just been on straight fruits and water, right? So you know, I really been implementing my enlightenment on on the information that I, that that's been that's been given to me. And um, you know, um, it's a strive journey. I would say, you know, what I'm saying it's a strive journey. We got to continue to stay steadfast on it. We got to continue to you know uh, pray fast. You know, and just, uh, you know, stay in it, endure, right? But I'm going to tell y'all some things that I had came across, right? And I came across, like, in that like that morning time, because I, I missed a little um, lemon, uh, drank some um, some warm water with the lemon, and, man, I had plenty of energy, plenty of energy. But, you know what I'm saying, when they say when you go through when you're actually going through it, you know, uh, you catch your headaches and things like that, I mean, you got your body full of a lot of toxins and things like that. Like, I had a couple of headaches, but it wasn't, like, real, real bad because I already be fasting. But I noticed what I be doing. Like, most of the time, it, it's even about eating, is that, you know, I eat, but then eat a, eat a nice, solid meal, but then I'm going back and eat again, and then eat again. Yeah, I'm gaining the weight, but at the same time, I'm not eating healthy. Understand? Yeah, I drink a lot of water, but still at the same time, I'm not eating healthy, man. And that's what it's about, y'all. You know, eating healthy, going on fruit fasts, vegetable fasts, uh, fast, um, fruit and veggie fast, uh, just cleaning your body of those toxins. If you got to uh, clean your colon, you know, uh, they got they got herbs and things like that, pill form, powder form, things like that to clean your colon, clean your... Uh, your kidneys, I mean, clean your liver, your kidneys, and all the things like that, right? You got cleansers for that, right? So, you know, I just been staying steadfast and putting in the work. So, really, you know, uh, y'all see me putting up a lot of little throwback videos and stuff like that. So, I really been, you know, uh, putting a lot of my time in the journey that, I, that I'm on right now and the focus that I'm on as far as learning to uh, eat healthier, right? So, y'all, man, be mindful of what y'all putting in y'all body. Be mindful that, you know, um, that uh, a lot of diseases and uh, illnesses can be healed by fasting and eating healthier as far as a, a, mucilous, a mucilous diet, understand? You know, um, and uh, with that being said, and it's another thing, right, I had thought about, right? Um, always remember, it's mind over matter, right? Do not let nobody trick you off these streets, man. Understand? Right? I never forget before I had went to Georgia, right? This was 2017 before I had went to Georgia, right? I want to say a couple months before I had I left because I left in 2016, right? I mean 2017. So when I left, um, um my 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 childhood friend, but I ended up finding out that he was actually my cousin, right? So, you know, um I never forget he was at and uh he was telling me he was like um he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, man, you know, uh, we were basically, cause at the time I was living, the environment that we was living in, I was still in the hood. You feel me? We were still in the hood where we grew up at, Mercer Drive, aka 1400. So we was over there doing what we do. And, uh,
but I'm getting glory in that bird. Show me quite a few times of paper, y'all. I can't deny that. Lord, so please tell me what my purpose, what my purpose. On the road to riches, it went hell of a journey. Show it hell, went hell of a journey. Y'all, keep my eyes open this time around, look them in their face. Look in their face, and I'ma spread more love through all the hate. Can I testify on oh, why have your name, Lord? Can I testify on oh, how good you been to me? Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you said. For your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can I testify on oh, why have your name, Lord? Can I testify on oh, why have your name, Lord?